So yesterday I talked about a trailer for a movie I have no fucks to give for. I ha Like I said before, I have no interest in Venom The Last Dance. I really don't. I just kind of did the talking about the trailer because I was like, well, it's news, and maybe the trailer will surprise me, maybe give me a Nope, nope, still same old, same old bullshit. Um, but like I said, I'm, I know somehow the universe is going to pull me into that. But hey, we'll get me a movie review, whatever. Anyway, let's talk, but this time around, we're going to talk about a trailer for a movie I'm excited about, and I keep, for, and it's a lot closer than I, than I think about, because usually I thought about this movie, like, it just feels, it just for a long time felt so far away, but now it's actually, like, we're two months away from it. So we're going to be talking about the second trailer for Alien Romulus. Alien Rom Romulus is one of those last few movies that I have them, uh, um, that I've uh, been waiting for, like, one of those movies that I have been... One of the last movies that I've been waiting for this year, and it's one of my most anticipated movies. I've seen basically a uh, vast majority of the rest. Really, it's this and a few other movies the rest of the year. Um, but yeah, Alien Romulus. I've had a. L I was skeptical for a while, and keep in mind, this movie could still suck. Let's let's be real. There's always a chance a movie can be just as good, and this mo and a movie could also suck just as much. So you know, there's always you know there's always that fear, right? There's always that kind of. Um, of legit fear that some uh, that this may go horribly horribly wrong right anyway so let's talk a bit about it let's let's talk a bit about alien romulus i am optimistic i'm very optimistic i'll keep that in mind um but yeah fede alvarez i'm still worried about like alvarez um he did do you know of course the evil dead not remake it's now in canon so we have that I didn't like... I'm not a big fan of Don't Breathe. I, well, I know he wasn't directing uh, Don't Breathe 2, but he did have a hand in that, and I didn't like that. And I definitely didn't like Texas Chain, his Texas Chainsaw movie that he produced. Again, he, I know he didn't direct it, but he did have a hand in it. But here, it does look like Alva, Fede Alvarez has got some legit praise from both Cameron and Scott. Uh, like, James Cameron I can put a little more stock in. Ridley Scott doesn't give a fuck about anything, really. So, but when I was like, well, whatever, Ridley Scott could say a ham sandwich looks good. He doesn't fucking care. Um, he, it, the only person he cares about is himself, so let's be real. But then when Cameron, who does have also a massive ego, say, hey man, I loved Alien Romulus. I'm like, okay, let's see where we go with this. So... This gives us a bit more of the story. What I like about these trailers is that while they're giving images, they're not give, they're not explaining the whole story. Although I will say that there are some scenes in this film that just made me go, I wish we just kept that hidden in the tra from the movie. I wish we kept that for the movie. I wish we kept that scene or that scene in the movie. And you probably know which ones I'm talking about, but there are just a few scenes in this in this trailer. I was like, I wish you kept that for the movie. You didn't need that in the trailer. Come on, guys. Um... But I. Uh, but anyway, so we do get to see more that this is a space station Romulus, and uh, this crew has been, I guess, sent to salvage or do an SOS. It gives me a lot of. Uh, it, if the first trailer, and I think I said this before, when the tra when the first trailer dropped, there was a lot of like comparisons to Alien Isolation, and I was kind of tap dancing around it. But no, this time around, it feels like Alien Isolation. Like this feels like a unofficial, an unofficial. Um, it really does feel like an unofficial, uh, adaptation of Alien Isolation. So, yeah. You need to tell me a space station that's falling out of orbit and is gone, and has gone dark, and there's a, and there's a team to fix things. There's a xenomorph on board. I'm not saying Fede Alvarez, um, uh, stole, in, you know, stole stuff from Alien Isolation. But, uh, what I am saying is he probably, like looked at someone else's homework. <laughs> um, but no, I am also happy that we're doing practical effects. As I've said multiple times, I will always love practical effects. Um, I don't, I'm not one of those people who poo-poo on, um, CGI. I'm not, I'm not one to, um, to, uh, you know, discredit, um, CGI, but, and if it's done right, it's done really right. But I will also, I will always prefer practical effects over, um, over what we get, over what, like, if you can do it in practical effects, then do it in practical effects. It'll give the audience and the actors something to look at and act off of. So it's cool that we're actually getting, like, 
uh, I you do see CGI in here with some of the face huggers, and we'll and I'll get to them in a minute. But like you do see some CGI with the face huggers, but you do and you'll probably get some CGI scenes with the xenomorph running. I have no doubt about that. But I will say that it like it is cool for some of the standing shots and whatnot. It is a practical effect, and they do have the face huggers like on little motors. I saw them behind the scenes, so I'm really excited. So that's really cool. And it really does look like, while there is going to be Xenomorphs, the main threat is the facehuggers. It's almost like Alvarez kind of knows, and I can tell you from my good friend Chris, um, that the facehuggers are the real horror. Like, you get, like people are more scared... You, some, if you ask people, like, what are you more scared of? People will be like the facehugger, because it, like, skitters around and jumps on your face and just throat fucks you um, to make a thing that will come out of your chest. So, you know, that's fair. So it does look like, you know, there are gonna, like, the face huggers are going to be a major threat and we're gonna get more xenomorphs from it. But it does look like, at least that's what the trailer is kind of saying so far, is that there is at least one xenomorph who's kind of like a caretaker, or maybe already got chest busted and killed everyone else on the, on the station. Um, that could be the threat. But it does look like the, the face huggers are playing more of an adamant role in this of being more like being the main threat and then we get more xenomorphs throughout the film so i think that's pretty cool i think that's pretty cool that like we're doing you know multiple threats but not like kind of like in aliens but not in the way you think like it's more of the one xenomorph who's our big bad and then you also have uh, the might the other major threats which are the face huggers and yeah a little bit of it like I do like that. I do like that kind of, like, there is one, and it does look like it's going to be, like, I imagine that Xenom the one Xenomorph drone we have is more like a caretaker in the sense that it's trying to cor maybe corral this crew, this uh, this uh, this crew towards um, the facehugger so they can be the real threat and latch on. and Because that's the whole thing for the Xenomorph 5 is that it's all about, you know, uh, procreating and expanding the hive. That's really all they do. That's all the xenomorph does, is eat, make nests, and make more xenomorphs. And that's all. Um, so, I think this is really cool. Also, did anyone else get Dead Space vibes? I'm serious. Did anyone else, like, I know, uh, like, it does, uh, like, it, throughout the, towards the end of the trailer, when all the shit is just flashing through, um, did anyone else get Dead Space vibes? And honestly, I would not be opposed to a Fede Alvarez Dead Space movie. I would not, in any way, shape, or form, be opposed to a Fede Alvarez, uh, Alvarez Dead Space movie. I do have my my misgivings about him, but like, if you gave him a Dead Space movie, I would totally be on board. I feel like that would be perfect, and it feels like some like a lot of the shots do feel Dead Spacey, right? Also, I really, I really hope to any uh, up, you know, to any. Uh, trailer editors out there watching this video, um, would it be possible if you did the uh, tease, like the uh, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, the dark version of it from Dead Space? Remember from the first trailer of um, the Dead Space teaser trailer where it had Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and it got scarier throughout? Could someone do a version of that with this trailer? I would greatly appreciate it. I would, I would one hundred percent greatly appreciate uh, something of that nature for this film. I mean, for this uh, for this trailer. Um, yeah, looks really good. Um, I, uh, now, I will say the few things that I wish got kept in the tra got kept away from the trailer was movie only, like, we got to see it in the movie, so we get a reaction, is, like, that scene where they're putting the flashlight to the person's back, and, like, you see the chest buster, and it starts coming out. I'm like, damn it, that would have been such a cool, and, and for all intents and purposes, maybe the chest busting scene would be really cool, but, like, I wish they just kept that entire shot a scene exclusively for the movie. Same thing with like finding out the uh, finding out one of the guys is a synth when his eyes roll back and it turns milky white. I know he he might not still be a synth, but that's kind of like he's give, that character when I see him in other shots in the trailer. I was like, yeah, you're definitely a synth. So I kind of wish that was kind of hidden. Anyway, that but that's just me. Anyway, you guys tell me in the comments below, what did you guys think of the new trailer for Alien Romulus? Did you guys like it, hate it? Comment below, let me know. Other than that, hope y'all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the multiverse.